Okay, so now that we've blended the powdered clay and water and the mason stain, we're gonna pour it through a sieve over a bucket like this, and this will get all the lumps out of it. It's kind of the consistency of pancake batter. Now that we have the colored slip ready, we're going to prepare the wheel to throw a plate. So I am washing the bat and drying it so that it's just slightly damp. Then you're going to pull the plastic back on the clay and use a fishing wire to cut a cube shape from the block of clay. This clay has already been through a machine called a pug mill that got the air bubbles out, so you don't need to wet this clay. Be sure to wrap it up when you're finished so that it doesn't get dried out for the next person who needs to use it. So then you're gonna pound the corners only. If you see any little cracks or little holes that could possibly trap air, you're gonna to try to fill those in and smooth those out. After you prepare the ball of clay, then you're going to get your finger wet and just hold it steady with your arm locked on the pad on the ledge and draw a circle, place the ball in the center of the circle and then begin to secure the clay by pressing slightly, just press a little skirt around the base of it. Get your hands wet and the first movement is to push down to make sure that ball is attached to the bat. Then you're gonna push away by locking your arm and using that bone in your forearm to lock it against and push away. You're gonna bring it up into a cone shape and you're gonna push down again, push away, and then pull in on the side. The reason you wanna pull in is because if the clay continues to spread out, your piece will get smaller and smaller and smaller. So we're trying to scoop that clay back in. You're gonna push down, away, I found this to be the easiest instruction for beginners, but of course, when you get the hang of centering, then you can just use your own technique that works best for you. You know the clay is centered when it's not wobbly or lumpy. Sometimes it, it may look smooth on the outside, but the inside still has lumps. So you want to keep raising and lowering it by pushing down away and in until there's no lumps. So here we're making a plate. So you want to push the clay down flat and then use a rolling pin that has rubber stoppers on the ends of it for thickness. And you're going to push down in the center, make sure your clay's wet so that it will slide across easily. And you just give it a lot of pressure so that it's an even thickness. And the rubber stoppers will make sure your thickness is even. Then you get your rib tool and smooth it. Scoop off the extra slip. Slip is just watery clay. You don't want your clay just to be soaking in water because that would be like pouring water on a sand castle and it would make it weak. You just need to keep it strong and the particles packed tightly together. Use a needle tool to trim the outer rim to make sure it's nice and smooth and even. Then you're gonna run the needle tool underneath that little strip and pull it off all the way around. Now this is going to have 
glaze on it after it's bisque fired. So you need to make sure that the edges are very smooth. You use a chamois, which is just a piece of leather. And you're gonna smooth that rim with the chamois. Just using a soft sponge to clean it up on the outside edge. Then you can get the colored slip that we prepared earlier. And we just used mason stains. This is peacock green. We use mason stains and powdered clay and water and mixed it in a blender and then poured it into a 60 mesh sieve to get the lumps out. And then you're just going to apply it just sort of like you're applying frosting to a cake. You want to put it on pretty thickly in the center and I like to use a spoon to smooth it out and spin the, spin the wheel slowly holding the spoon steady and spread the slip completely across the surface of the plate. So we put slip all over the plate that was colored with a light green. And now we're using a teal mason stain mixed with nail polish remover, nail polish remover right? And that makes it diffuse oh, through the slip. It does look like a sea anemone. Yeah, it has Can like you say that three times fast? Sea anemone, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe do another in the flank spot.